B Monster Laboratory here, and I know it's been a while since I've had anything remote control on the channel, but today we're going to review this Carrera remote control Mario Kart Yoshi race cart. It's pretty good size, it's 1 16th scale. Now my kids and I, we love Mario Kart, and we thought it'd be fun just to bring you a short video to show you what we really like about this race car, and to show you a few things that we think could improve it. Let's get started. So here's the car, and when you get the car, it's gonna come in a fairly big box. This is Carrera RC. If you're familiar with Carrera, then you know they make quality slot cars and racetracks, and it's no different here. This is a good quality remote control car. This is a licensed Mario Kart brand, uh, licensed by Nintendo. It's pretty big, it's 1 16th scale. Just to put that into perspective, it's about 14 inches long, 10 inches wide, and about 8.5 inches tall. It comes with a lithium iron phosphate rechargeable battery and two AAA batteries for the remote control, but here's what I don't understand. Why isn't the battery just a little bit bigger? Look at all the extra space in here. This is a 700 milliamp hour battery and it advertises as running for 40 minutes. We were able to run it for about 35 minutes, but that was at full throttle. That was in non-stop. So my question is why not double the capacity and make it a 1400 milliamp hour instead of a 700 milliamp hour? I mean, you got the compartment space. Why not do it? I don't know. After about 15 minutes of racing, you can really notice a difference in the speed and it just starts getting slower from there. This black and white controller looks really nice and it's easy to hold even for small kids and it's very responsive. On the front here it's got a speaker for the sound option. It's also got the on off switch and a trim option too. This controller does operate on two AAA batteries which are provided in the box when you buy it. There is a button on the side of the remote and it displays one theme song from the video game. It's uh, the race theme. There's a button right here. What do you think it does? Turns on music? Yeah, music. Everybody needs music when they're playing. Now the car itself looks fantastic. It's got the really bright, brilliant, sharp looking green and white collars that you'd see in the video game. And it's got nice contours. Overall, they've done a, a fantastic job on the build and the exterior of this car for sure. Now you can see the level of detail that went into this. And being a huge fan of not only just Mario Kart, but the Mario franchise, it's important that they get that right. All four tires are made out of a flexible rubber material and the front and back also have spring action in the suspension, which is kind of nice. The on off button is located on the bottom of the car and when it's on, you'll see a blinking light there on the right side. Yoshi has a tilt body action, which basically means he will lean into whichever direction you're turning. It just goes to show you that Carrera puts a lot of detail into their products. With freshly charged batteries, this car does have a lot of power, and I found out that it runs better on carpet than it does on smooth flooring. It'll skid all over the place on smooth floor, but on carpet it has pretty good grip. Now this is not an indoor car by any means. It goes way too fast and is way too big to, to use indoors. And as you can see here, I'm crashing. Oops. What? He doesn't do very well with slight bumps, as you can see. So if you have gravel in your driveway, it's not going to work. And if, if you have gravel on pavement, you might want to sweep that away before you, before you start playing with him. If all those bumps knock him out of alignment, just slide your controller over to trim, run them back and forth, and adjust the wheels until they're straight again, and then just slip it back over to the on setting. Just go straight ahead. I can't, ah! <laughs> I can't move it anymore. Oh really? Yeah. That's as far? Yeah. So right here, this car is out of range around 70 feet, or 21 meters. Honestly, I wonder if the turn radius could be better because it's going so fast that if you don't turn quick enough or sharp enough, 
you find yourself crashing into a wall or a car. Overall, this car is very fun to play with. It's pretty fast. It's pretty quick. I like the way it handles. It doesn't roll in the grass. You're not supposed to put it in the grass. It doesn't go through dirt. And if you have a gravel driveway, that's out of the question as well. It doesn't handle bumps very well at all. You can't jump ramps. But you know, that's, that's okay because it's just a cool little car that you won't get tired of playing with. It's, it's fun. Not to complain about the car, but I think they could improve it in two ways. And the, the first way would be to get a bigger battery, one that would last longer. Now, I know it does advertise as a 40 minute run time, but you're losing so much power along the way. At that 40 minute mark or near that, you're going pretty slow. The second thing I think that could be improved is the turn radius. It's so wide, the turns that you make. I actually crashed it. <laughs> I crashed it into the car and put a big old nasty. A scratch on the front of this race car but that, that's not a big deal but I think th that that could be worked on otherwise it's a great car I'm glad we bought it we love it we love to have fun with it and I would tell anybody to go out and buy it that's all I've got for today as always thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again very soon with another video